you eat too quickly. I do. You know, we'd no, be like, will, oh, it's great. It's a nice place. No, yeah, it's really, you look really nice tonight. Great. Food hits a plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Phobo was in like fear of missing out on the vote. <laughs> fear of beefing out. <laughs> Women love hands. <laughs> there is blood in my loot. <laughs> blood on the loot. <laughs> Dare I say monters. Yeah. You know, a lot of fucking fellas. Yeah, that's like saying your monters are more monty. You yeah. know? <laughs> your months be monty. The full monty. <laughs> <laughs> you said in the car one day we were talking about some bit and you just went, F I wish I was black, hey. <laughs> so sincere. I'm a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you said, it is the eye of the tiger, it's the cream of the fire. <laughs> Do you know when a dog gets, you know those videos where the dog's really scared? Yeah. Or like a, someone's got a French bulldog and it just goes, ah! That's him. Welcome to Bob's Call, my guys! Episode 31! Two. Two! Jesus! Oh, fucking missed it again! <laughs> he missed it again! Oh, I'm not good with numbers anyway, we're back. Who is? We're here, we're queer. Uh, is this out after Halloween special? Yeah. Okay, we had a Halloween special. Uh, nice. what, what's after Halloween? What's the next holiday? What's the next celebration? Well, for the Americans, it is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Native Americans. Shout out to the Natives. Shout, cheers for the country. The OGs. Cheers for the country, my guys. Holding it down. Well, they actually didn't. Enjoy being Alkies in a <laughs> casino. Good lads. Thank you. How are we going? We're going to celebrate. We're going to, we're going to eat loads. Yeah, but thanks. But see, I would see that's one thing. Is Americans I have no idea have if that's why I just skimmed over that. But I have no idea. But like they have the Thanksgiving dinner, and then that fucks up your Christmas dinner because the Christmas dinner is like that's our main event. Yeah, Whereas them it's almost secondary. Christmas is Christmas is secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, would the would a Jewish person do a Thanksgiving? That's a good question. You know, because I know I know they're not big into Christmas. No, no, they have Jew Christmas. What's that, Chinese? Yeah. They go for a Chinese? <laughs> Fish and chips, is it? Is it? No, I don't think so. I think, no, I, I, well, I do have a couple of Jewish friends, not to take too many boxes get here, out. but. Get out. Get out of here! My friend Jeff, his family actually legit did get Chinese food. Yeah, I think that's what they do. I yeah. mean, you're not, uh, you're not celebrating it, you know, it's like a, it means nothing to you. So I wouldn't hate it. A Chinese for Christmas, Christmas Chinese? Chinese? Yeah. Oh my God, it'd be 10 out of 10. Yeah. How many, you know, you're fucking, you know, you're ch trying to make a Christmas dinner, like, I'm Sprite's done. Aye. That turkey fucking look raw to you. It is like Groundhog Day. Fuck like. that. Jewish Christmas Day, just one fella walks up the driveway. There you go. Yeah. Plats it down. Just 18 chicken ball specials. I'd take it. So would I. You know? So would I. Do you like a chicken ball? Oh, why? Fierce. Uh, uh, Not like a Chinese chicken nugget. I don't like... Uh, I would never commit to ordering just chicken balls, but if, nah. if, if you've got your own Chinese and I oh, fell on the plate... I'll take a chicken ball. Well, when I fat lapsed in like the second week of this, I did order a Chinese house. And I feel like when you order a portion of chicken balls, that's when you're taking her into I don't give a fuck level anymore. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm ready to die. When you throw them in, you just, and, and they're big out half the units too. Like, yeah. There's an art to the chicken ball though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the Irish chicken ball is mm -hmm. something special. It really it's is. It's basically a donut around a bit of chicken in it. Yeah. Yeah. How many boys from Tyrone do you think have went to Chinatown? In a city and tried to order a chicken ball special? Uh, all of them. Or <laughs> all, every one that's tried it. Yeah. Chicken ball and shouting at them too. Uh, chicken ball special! Or half and half. Half and half. <laughs> and then we're, we're talking to them boys in London and he's from Donegal and they have a, it go, I think it goes like three and one, four and one. Right? That's what they call it down there. Well, that's the box, like a pizza box full of no, shit. No, it's not even. No. That's a different thing altogether. Like we would call it. Like a curry half and half. Mm -hmm. That's our three and one. And then he goes, then then there's a four and one. And I was like, like a chicken ball special. And the other guy who's from ours was like, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nice. And I was like, he's going and asking for a four and one. So the chicken ball is the fourth element. Yeah. Right. So the three and one's just the curry half and half. Yes. It never is half and half. It's not. There's always more rice. Well, they're very different consistencies. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheaper to give you the rice. It's hard it? to nail it down. Like. Yeah. Also sad Chinese order. Yeah. Can I just get chips with your rice and a bit of curry on it? 
I mean, it is delicious. McCarney, hard as a fucking. <laughs> yes, no taste. Yes, dry and old. I have a chipped tooth, by the way, today, guys. Uh, that's the sort of sleeps I'm having. You can notice it. That's how I nod off. Yeah. Ah, just like that. Ah, ah, you know, just demons leaving my body. You have a gum shield before you go to bed, sir. Well, that's a, you know, the, the, a retainer is a gum shield. Mm. Fucking thing still broke. Yeah. But clean through it. Oh, uh, that's. I've, I keep forgetting that like you wear a retainer, so you, uh, I can you can empathize now with uh, a retainer breath in the morning. Oh, I took it out the other day. It was like taking it out of fucking Fuck it is like like sludge. I'll tell you one better, too. I made a fucking rookie mistake the other night where it was like about midnight. I was about to go to bed, but I was feeling packish. I tucked into a bag of Walker's cheese and onion. Oh, the next bro. day, a complete death breath. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> did you brush, oh, did you brush your teeth? Oh, my. But that's still, even worse. It still gets in you, yeah. Because like, you, you're mixing the cold get with the fucking cheese and onion. Uh, it's <laughs> disgusting. Like, you know? Also, <laughs> shout out to fucking... Uh, what Colgate, you, shout out to Colgate. Out to, <laughs> is, it, is it Oral B? Aye. Uh, uh, fucking, my brother is a dentist and uh, they were giving away like wee swag bags. Oh. Got myself a fucking electric toothbrush. Stop. Yeah. Do you like them? I I feel like it's not doing the job. I was, yeah. You need, I think you need, uh, I would say you need to do the rough work with the normal toothbrush. Yeah. Then clean it, you know, wash it out, and then do the fine, it's like detail, you know, get the finer points with the thing. It does feel like a finisher. It does, it's like a high polish. It finishes you off, but like I, you know, because you, you sit there and you let the bristles, you know, glide around you, and you're just sort of moving it around your mouth, and then if you go, if you put any badness into your wrist at all it with stops. this toothbrush, it turns off. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck's the point in that? It takes too long, you're supposed, you're supposed to hold that in your tooth till it like changes gear. Oh no. So it goes, I you, hold mine until the blades. You hold, <laughs> <laughs> you hold it on there and it goes, ah, and it's supposed to do it for like 30 seconds. And then it goes, ah, ah, and you're supposed to move it. Nah. You better all fucking day. I'd rather buy the classic oil three pack and you fucking take it like a prison weapon and yeah. just butcher the inside of your mouth. Oh with yeah, it. in no particular direction. Yeah. The very few areas of my life I would be manly, but brushing my teeth is one of them. It's uh, vicious. The same vigor you pull that rod. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, right wrist too. <sighs> do you know that apparently if you want to remap your brain you're supposed to do a couple of things like brush your teeth with your left hand or like your bad hand you know get you thinking I could do a remap myself now <laughs> oh, fuck, you're, you're telling me I need remapped like a motherfucker <laughs> the boy should do a remap I'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms are remapping we'll go do mushrooms and be alright uh, we should do mushrooms somewhere and then like talk about what we want to do next year and sort out all of life's problems. Do you know the way people say you can have like bad ayahuasca trips and mm. all? And they're like, I was talking to plants and all. Aye. I'd have the fear that I'd take ayahuasca and the trees are just like, <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> you know? But then, you know, you get to go, I'm on drugs. Aye. And also, fuck you, you're a tree. Aye, fuck up with you. <laughs> fuck up tree. What are you doing there? Bombs fucking? <laughs> 3,000 Patreon special, but the boys hit the Congo. <laughs> boys hit the Amazon for ayahuasca. I love that. I mean, you can do it in Cork now, you know what I mean? Aye, but it's not as romantic, is it? No, I don't. I think a shaman from Cork wouldn't be the same. No, not at all. Freezing, Just let free. go of the spirits, boy. Yeah, I don't want to be doing ayahuasca with a scarf on. <laughs> you know, I want to be like sweating in my pants. I don't want to be like, whoosh, yeah, hearing a smoke alarm go off. Sideways wind coming in, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yes, yeah, toast in my head. Is it noticeable? No, as, like I said, the only if you're like really close to you can you notice it. Nobody's going to notice. I'll try and play it all. Also, it's like character, you know? It's not a cool chip, though. You need you need it like chipped in the middle, you know? And you got Chris Van Wall had a first set of teeth them before he took bad. I uh, well, he, you know, he, was he screaming in the night, too? I think so, yeah. Let me see. Chris Van Wall. For different reasons, though. You should look it up. Chris Van Wall's teeth. Sure, he was missing a full tooth. Yeah. <clears throat> toothless aggression that's what they call them <laughs> really I swear to god toothless aggression he had a t-shirt he had merch that said toothless aggression and all wow that gummy aggression you know that people are into like feet and all do you think there's like a website for celebrity teeth no he's not really flexing them too many there he is there now post match just there one <laughs> that's the last thing his child seen did he put a pillow on his head looks like a fairground fucking game what his teeth well like knock the teeth out <laughs> The old favourite, knock the teeth out with a hammer. There he is there in a suit and tire, though. That's not... I was going to say, it's a wee vest. That's not a suit and tire, man. I mean, he's absolutely knacked out. Yeah. Girls like that, you know. 
What, roids? Fat neck. <laughs> well, I must be sweeping up. Sorry, thick neck. <laughs> <laughs> I they use my, my language correctly there. <laughs> Women like this, you know, tits, I mean, packs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big chest of muscle, not hairy breasts. Speaking of women, I've uh, I've got a list uh, sent in here. A friend of mine sent me this, and it's, uh, I don't know, you kind of look at things like this and you go, who is being surveyed? Who is doing the surveying? Where did this come from? But for whatever reason, there's a list that has went viral of uh, places where women would refuse to go on a first date. Right now, of course, there's eighteen of them, right? Yeah. And of course, it covers basically everything that you could think to do on a first date. Mm-hmm. Now, out of curiosity, if you were, you know, if we're in an alternative universe here, you're not a happily married man. Where would you take a woman in this day and age on a first date? The Ibis. No. Uh, That's do- if it goes well. I don't know. W five. W five. Yeah. I'd be like, this is your fault. You didn't want to go to fucking Pizza Hut. So here we are, <laughs> hitting that fucking smoke ring up to the roof. How do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Who, what, where, when? <laughs> yeah. The fuck are we here? <laughs> you like dinosaur, do you? Or that? Number one on this list is the Cheesecake Factory. Oh. Which I have, I have personal beef with. That's you out of business? No, I don't know if that's... I just imagine is. you in the street uh, chatting up some American guys. She, she's on the way sometimes. She's like, yeah. You're like... What do you reckon? Cheesecake Factory? And, and she's like, what about somewhere else? And you're like, nah. Yeah. Good luck. Kick rocks, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Off you pop. Off you fuck. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory, two businesses of mine that I love, actually. Applebee's as well is in there. This Applebee's, is very American. Like It is. You've got Applebee's <coughs> cheese. The movies is number six. So the cinema for a first date. I kind of get that. I think fair. that's mental. I, you know, sometimes you'll see people on a first date at a comedy night. Yeah, that's and you, crazy. And you're like, will you fucking talk there? And sometimes they'll be in the front row. Oh yeah, and yeah, and the, you know what are they? What's the chat like after? That? Like, did you like it? I did. Did you laugh? We entertained. Great. Do you want a finger or something? Like, yeah. you know, because your conversation kind of revolves around the evening, as yeah. opposed to getting to know each other. Yeah, and the comedians, you know, laughed your necks clean off. Yeah, for the guy, right? How, how many? How many women have we? Sorry, how many fellas do you reckon? <laughs> Have have got lucky after a comedy gig. Oh, I'd say the post lavery suckings would be for the roof. Oh man, straight out. That's why none of those fucking free drink tokens get used. Yeah, people are like, "Oh, th- he's so funny." <laughs> <laughs> what is that Roman Empire? Remember, I said there's someone in my DMs going, "You're my Roman Empire." Yeah, fuck that. Means you're trying to fuck. <laughs> why? Well, the Roman Empire, the the meme is like, "Oh, it's all I can think about" or something. Uh-huh. So for this lady, uh-huh. you're all she can think about. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. You're mine, right, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're dominating her brain, you know? Dominating her brain. Yeah. Yeah. Roman Empire. Yeah. Fuck up. Um, your house is number seven. Come to my house? Yeah. That's murder vibes. Yeah. But, you know, if... You know what women are like? They'll be like, at least he has his own house. Yeah. Come back to... Come back to... The Ma's house. Yeah. Clap them cheeks. Yeah, in the guest room. In the guest room. Is having roommates a turn off for a woman? It depends where it is. I would say if you're in like New York, just having a roof over your head is a flex. You know? I have a tap. Yeah. You'll, be, you'll be flexing on people. I have a tap. Yeah. I have a chair. I have a chair. You know? I still have yet to see water clearer ca- than yours. Yeah. That doesn't gallon water. I don't know the fuck they're putting up in your hands. That's but some all you Roman Empire slag. Crystal. Come back to the house. <laughs> run you a nice glass of water. Buffet, yeah, this is very American. A buffet is number 12, which I think is actually a power move. Yeah. If you brought a woman to a buffet and you go sit there and you have a few appetizers and watch me fucking clean these five plates. But what if she met met that energy? True love. Like, yeah. Instantly. Would you sit down with like 15 chicken balls and you're like, fucking never mind at dinner. <laughs> fucking stuff I'd like be that. hyping her up, you know? Yeah. I'd be playing hype man in the corner. Yeah, mom versus food. Get that fucking prawn toast out, you? <laughs> Get it fucking here. bricked up here. <laughs> Use it with a camera. <laughs> Get that in there. Look at this fucking pig. You room for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great. You, you'd be turning them. No, f- a cheesecake. One of those feeders. <laughs> yeah. You know? Just you sit there. Mm. Yeah, eat more. Isn't that like just Hansel and Gretel? I think a, a, any food date is a bad date for you anyway. It's too intense. 
you eat too quickly. I do. You know, we'd be like, will, oh, it's great. It's a nice place. And all. Yeah, it's really, you look really nice tonight. Great. Food hits a plate. <laughs> no, <but I've, laughs> and she's barely, barely got the fucking like napkin in there. You know, like, okay. And no. you're like, that's good. No, you're on the pints or it's a crack. Eight Jaeger bombs. Come on, let's go. But here you're me not out. that. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. If I am on like a first date or the first series of dates, I will put my eight in speed to not point five speed. Oh, you turn it down a wee bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. At least half, you know. Yeah. I'll pretend like I'll fucking cosplay as a regular person eating. Yeah. I need like if we go for food, I need to you know, go in there like twenty minutes before you go in. Yeah. When I'm ordering dessert, you could order the main and just wolf it down. See, that's the thing, but that's how you know I'm comfortable with you boys. I have no shame in eating at the speed that I would normally eat that. Here, you know, have more shame. You know, because <laughs> I'm at the other end of the table, just trying not to gag my lunch back up. You're like fucking death row. <laughs> you know. I remember what that was so. And we don't go for tidy food either. No. Nah, we're noodles, broths. Well, that's it. Well, sticky wings for a first date. Oh Jesus, sticky wings were a fucking nightmare. Um, <laughs> just got a Vietnam flashback there. No, you can't. You can't go like to, to a Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> A Vietnamese flashback for us is a lot more pleasant. You'd be sitting there going, like, mm, What's wrong with you? Is that a Vietnam flashback? Madam Foam. Pho. <laughs> Phobo up in this bitch. But yeah, Phobo, that's great. Did you just, did you mean to do that? No, that's, that, that's like beef in Vietnamese. What? Bo. Oh, I thought you meant Phobo as in like fear of missing out on the Phobo. <laughs> fear of beef and out. I've had that fear a while. <laughs> it got up to me. <laughs> I had fear in beef and I had that fear in B7 and it immediately happened. What? Beefing out. What? I beefed out since <laughs> first year of secondary school. <laughs> Big man's beefing out. I, I was like, oh, we can go uptown for lunch now. That's it, I'm beefing out. You know. Getting that 50 50. The, sec the second any sort of structure was taken away from me in my life in terms of my eating, I went to the dogs. I'm trying to get it back now. Yeah, uh, rein it in. Yeah. Eating Nola. It, listen, you eat the, the granolas put a, you know, a fucking a limiter on the, the speed. It has. You can't shovel that in. Well, do you know why? Because it tastes like shit. It's gloopy. Yeah. Oh, there's a cigarette there. It tastes like shit. You want to eat slow? Eat shit stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All that fucking, like, people will legit say, they're like, oh, you know, to make yourself fuller, make the meal last longer. Yeah. I, that is torture to me. Yeah. Get it in me. <clears throat> but that's why people go on those, like, potato diets. Aye. Because it's not exciting, but it's like a whole food or whatever. You know, it's got all your bits in it. So you just eat, like, roasted potatoes with the skin on. You're only going to eat as much as you fucking need to eat. Honestly, my mom's been on that diet for 75 years. Yeah, and she's got visible obliques. Yeah. Your mom's ripped. Oh, it's bleak, all right. <laughs> Oblique as fuck. <laughs> What else is on here? I hope that the gym. I don't know. I, I, well, to be fair, I did have a friend recently. Do you had, know what would be more useful? Where do you want to go? Yeah, and it's probably just fancy restaurant. Church is on there too. Oh my god! <laughs> nothing, nothing. Fucking pret sticks. The next, like, couple of hymns. <laughs> like Father Morrow up giving his fucking. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Passing that basket round flexing on them you can't this this is this is just a piss take like there's nobody who's well, going who's really going to church well then? i guess unless you are two devout christians in which case yeah. you know maybe a first day in the church is a viable thing to do but for anyone else that's an insane thing to do christian x christian x you know carson you'd be like you'd be like we didn't sing hard enough yeah shine jesus shine you know starbucks and followed by coffee dates and then ice cream dates Hey, do we just stand in the street and look at each other? I agree. What do you want, you fucking agents? I'd like to see a list here of like places that they think is a good first date. Movie night. I guess that is trying to fool isn't it? You know, movie that's movie the night, same yeah. as like coming over to your house. Yeah. Somewhere that requires a long drive. Not fussed on that. Bowling. So that's Brunswick out of the question. Nightclubs. I don't know who's doing that. A hookah bar, which I actually think would be great crack. Yeah. Yeah, full of hookers. A hookah, <laughs> <laughs> a hookah bar, you would really get to know someone. Yeah, that's, you a, know? that's a real putting a plan B in, in place there. H hookah Just a date in a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> if, listen, if this doesn't go well, you can jump in a taxi. I'm good to go anyway. I got backups here. 
I do think that is a legit good place to have a first date though, because you know you've got the fucking hookah itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you know you've got the pipes and you're sitting smoking. And if there's like anywhere in the conversation that's starting to take a lull or it's starting to get awkward, you can just fucking chief hookah until you get your thoughts back. My name is Chief Hookah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the, I love to see you sitting there with the full the full shisha, like, and then just blasting the fucking blue rays in between. <laughs> Are you still here? <laughs> give me, give me two, two screams if you're still here. That's annoying too. If the date's going shit, just disappear in the puff of smoke, into safety. <laughs> you know, he's like, "Are you okay?" And you're like, <laughs> <coughs> and then you just run away slow as fuck. All right, what's your favorite film? <laughs> <laughs> like Bad Boys Two is pretty good. <laughs> Super bad. <laughs> a bar just for drinks? That's fucking dumb. What else do you go to a bar for? The music. What? Where do? Yeah, the, yeah. Where do you want to go? Is the question. What do you want to do? And the last one is sporting sporting events. They're probably like, I, you know, can we go to Bali or something? First date. First date, you have to go to some bullshit with you know they've painted like wings on the wall. They do like Instagram yeah, Instagram cocktails. They got a swing. Yeah, they do Caesar salad and chips, the girl the girl dinner. Yeah. You know? And you just fucking sit there like, oh, you know, want to kill yourself? Yeah. I mean, if you really liked each other, it shouldn't matter, you know? Like, I was... Did you ever see... What what the... What do you call it? Woody Allen movie, where he's just, like, on a date, and he just stops, and he's like, can we just kiss now, just to, so that we're not, like... It's not hanging over us all night. <laughs> and then he fucking snogs a 14-year-old. Well, that is very shrewd pedophilia um why is that is very shrewd i think you have to be a very attractive man to get away with that or make a movie where you can write that into it yeah because no one's kissing that motherfucker first date yeah you know what i mean till they see that bank account you <laughs> know what i mean what's your first date type stuff eat our coffee date with no no fuck coffee fuck, fuck then coffee fuck <laughs> Fuck coffee because you're just sitting there. It's already an awkward environment. You're sober and you're drinking something that will make you scat. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just gonna pop to the loo again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinks. The the best the best first date is you go for drinks. You both go in with the same energy mm -hmm. where you're like, I'm just gonna drink, try and have a good time here, and then you wander off off somewhere else, wherever that may be. Maybe get like late night food or something, okay. whatever it is. But the drink should be there to help you even loosen up. Yeah. And then, you know, the next day you get to be like, oh, fuck, you know, what were we at last night? We're like, what was, yeah. you know, <laughs> what were we like? You know, that's good, I think. Maybe maybe some of these things are, are put in place. Maybe they're thinking about this where they're like, if the date goes well and there's a bit of busting to be done, do yeah. I want to have a belly full of fucking cheesecake or so? You know, like that? Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Get that Absolutely. On, get that on your back, love. You know? Boston and cheesecake. What is this, death row? <laughs> I don't think you get either of those things on death row. <laughs> you ever see the video of that guy and like, getting his last meal? Nah. And the guard's like, hurry up, and he's trying to eat the rice. Like, fuck, like, uh, I'm like, what are you, why are you bothering at this point? Like, yeah. you're about to get fried in two seconds. <laughs> and he's like, let me get this bit of fucking dry rice on the way. <laughs> yeah, I dare say I couldn't even garner the hunger if I knew I was on my last couple of minutes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got you. We got you everything you asked for. You'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I just can I exchange just for one wank? Yeah. <laughs> one last wank. Just give me that. Just have everyone watching you with guns. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what they should do. You just say, can I exchange the mail for like one video or something on Pornhub, and then I'll blast. And as soon as I do, just shoot me in the fucking head. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. That should be the way yeah, like it goes. Br bring in some big strippers. Yes. Bouncing all over me. Can we get some hefty hooters in here? Yeah, can we get some hefty hooters? And then just right on the point of For squirt. the table? <laughs> <laughs> can I get the share plot or a hose? Thank you. And just right, right as you bust. Yeah. <laughs> Firing squad. <laughs> that means so messy. <laughs> Not even the electric chair. You, oh you're sitting there God. like you're in a schoolboy Q video. <laughs> And then just fucking eight dudes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my the god. The ultimate, the ultimate bust. I would, to be fair, if a room full of people had seen me wank, I would immediately need to get shot. 
you know yeah i'd be like this is exactly it like, I'll, I'll shoot myself yeah because that there Run through the last of the dates there. What have we got? The last one is a sporting event. I got the itchiest nose of all time. That's the last one. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, a lot of it is like American franchises, and then basically every venue you've ever imagined taking anybody ever. I remember Mickey back in the day was at my house, and then he was like, "I have a wee date here," and it was just at one of them like ro- like motorway fucking diners at the side of the road. I heard of a fella. I was like, "That's some culty shit right there." Yeah, I I know a, I know a girl who went on Tinder date and they got to go to Apple Greens. <laughs> nice that's a power move what's what's like a list of like specific to here that is terrible for a first date well not saying any like actual business names but yeah you know, like kind of vibes and stuff like that uh, <laughs> huh <laughs> <What is Boucham? laughs> Boucham? yeah Boucham would be weird it's too messy isn't it yeah it's also just a lot because you know you're sitting there the queues right there you know yeah you can't be very... making a, a good first impression when you've got like salsa running down you know you get that fucking you know you pick a burrito up and you can't set it down because yeah. it's like wet toilet roll it's running down your wrists and all and you're like oh you're a muddy dude for work oh. yeah you got a fucking teeth full of pinto like it's just it's not good or do your speciality which is just lob a bit of rice into someone's latte yeah that was a classic that yeah have we told that in here many times yeah. but you know uh yeah, you were chatting. Was that a date or were you just saying no, no, talking to someone you knew? It was someone I knew from school. Uh, and, you know, very... Oh, they were the bell of the ball, you know. And they just they just kept getting hotter and hotter. And I saw them one day in Cafe Nero and I was talking to them. And two hours prior, you know, it was chili con carne night. You see, that freaks me out that you'd still have remnants two hours later. Yeah. Floating about your mouth. Yeah. That's rank. Well, I had, you know, I had like fucking... I have this wire uh, at the bottom of my teeth. So occasionally, sometimes a wee bit of rice will get stuck on it or something like that, you know? Absolutely right. And then just kind of... Into your latte? Oh, yeah. Nothing but net, bro. Nothing but net. Go away! Yeah. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have had this head. So that's that's how I get out of awkwardness. Yeah. Let everyone in the room know it's awkward. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, look over here. I just spat rice in this girl's coffee here. <laughs> you love it? <laughs> you dirty bitch. I do notice the you pot, do that. The baller move? Scoop it back out and eat it. <laughs> yeah, right in front of her. Sorry. Just fucking big hand in the latte. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Women love hands. <laughs> <laughs> like, they love talking about, like, men's hands. Yeah. You know? It's like a thing they're into. Yeah. No one's talking about my wee mole hands. Oh, well, people don't like wee hands. But I'm like, what even is wee hands? I've never looked at someone and went, fuck, he's wild wee hands. Karen Bartlett. Karen Bartlett. Mole ha- <laughs> full mole hands. Karen like. Bartlett does have wee doll hands. That motherfucker can just steal shit from a vending machine, no sweat. Karen actually does have the hands of a doe. A doe? Yeah. yeah he's got a, well, he's got the hands of a baby. He's got a wee fat baby hand. <laughs> it's like when you pick up a baby and you go like, oh, his wee hands, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so you do him. You don't pick him up, but you know, you've squished it. What is the kind of hands women are into? Is it that, you know, the fucking... Uh, probably. You know them boys that are lifting stuff and they've got mole holes in their... On their fucking hand. I don't even know. I think they just want big and like veiny. Aye. And they're like, imagine that fucking in me. It's the precursor to the cock, isn't it? Yeah. I was what if you have big hands and tiny cock? That waist. Waist, man. <laughs> waist, man. A life of finger in a head of you. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, girls are fucking men. You know, like people worry about having big cock girls. All the shit they like is made up little wee stupid things. Yeah. You know, you can, you can. You can hoodwink a woman, like. Oh, yeah. Come in the suit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, fellas, you, you, your wife will walk in in her fucking jammies, a mess. And you go, like, still getting it. Come in in a fucking formal dress. Still getting it. Come in, fi- whatever. I hate Still to, getting it. I hate to be that guy that's like, oh, you know, whenever women, like, dress up and stuff, I'm more attracted to the sitting house in the pajamas. Sitting house in the pajamas sometimes. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. You know? Because you're this away from getting the ride. <laughs> <laughs> There's none of this fucking, don't get tan on the bed and all that shit. Actually, you're just like fucking, but, ba-boom, the Netflix comes on. You're like, <laughs> here we are. Now that I think about it, I might actually have a pajama fetish. You know? <laughs> well, hey, I think so. <laughs> Men or women. But you never, you you're sitting there flicking through a catalog of fellas in pajamas. Like, oh, God. <laughs> they, they, you fucking psychopath. You wore that, <laughs> that fucking spitting all that fucking Halloween episode you wore the Prince outfit and they were like Jesus sorry I went home and slapped in them fucking pants and there was glitter all over the bed lunatic 
<laughs> you couldn't even wait to try it. That's, I like, know. that's like getting a new toy or something. You're like, man, fucking get me home, get me in the bed. He's, Sir, honestly, like, did I. Did you take the boxers off under it? No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't even feel the silk I, on the bulb? No, nah, you said I should have did that. You should have let it all fucking swirl about in there. Test out the velour to bag, you know, yeah. combo. Sensation. But like, no, I, I just, I do love a pair of pajamas, like. You know, you know, I know, you're mental. I haven't made it into the territory yet where I buy, you know, the tuxedo pajamas. <laughs> yeah. You know, the mild boy used to wear. That's when I'll have reached final form. Well, when's your birthday? Did we miss your birthday? 20 seconds of Tomber. I might get you them for Thanksgiving. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. It's my birthday today. <laughs> Hi, wow. Al. Old. Hi, Al. 37. <sighs> What was your first? That's the reaction it needs. <laughs> you just going, oh, oh, okay, okay. This is a paid advertisement from our friends at BetterHelp.com. This time of year can be a lot, you know. End of year, the other seasonal blues can come a knocking. You know, maybe you're dreading Christmas with your family. Yeah, you start to get reflective on the year. You know, the weather's not great. Yeah, you're so, not alone. You're not alone. Seasonal blues. BetterHelp is an online therapy service where you can go on, fill out a questionnaire, kind of say what you're feeling, what you're worried about, and they'll match you up with one of their therapists. And the, the best part about this is uh, you don't have to leave the house, you know. You can schedule an appointment, um, a session with a therapist at a time that suits you. And, uh, you, you know, you, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to start researching therapists, you know. You can do it all from the house. And the best of it is, if you're a listener of this podcast, you can get 10% off your first month. If you go on to betterhelp.com forward slash BSP, that's betterhelp.com forward slash BSP. That stands for Bone Squad Pod. Yes. In case you were wondering. Cheers, BetterHelp. Take care of yourselves, guys. All right, look after yourselves. What was your first, like, bet you 30 moment where you just went over 30 and then you did something and you're like, I shouldn't be doing this anymore. I'm 30. Uh,. Oh, we see, I, I think I got most of that out of the way pre-30. Yeah, I think, you know, I think I, I'm I, going through that. I had the old, you know, the go into a bar you shouldn't be in, go into a nightclub you shouldn't be in, uh, shit like that, you know. Nightclubs past, like, 25 is mad. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't mind, like, you know, a regular night out of drinking and having the crack culminating in a powerful and swift rave. Yes. But you can't, you can't be, the, you know, one of those guys who are like, you're in the queue for fucking half an hour and they let you into like a half empty nightclub. Yeah. And you're like, fucking, what are we doing, boy? Shots and all. Fuck my hell. Oh my God, look at her. I'm not going to talk to her ever. Well, I was telling you about fucking that gig in Dublin, like afterwards. My mate was like, oh, let's go to Copper Jacks. And I went and within 20 minutes was like, we. Copper it's, Jacks? It's actually. Yeah. You know the, the go to like shithole nightclub in Dublin? Copper Face Jacks? Copper Jacks. It's like. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Copper Jacks. I feel like that's wrong, is it? Copper Jacks? Well, I think. I'm pretty sure it's right, but now I feel insecure. So do I. It's not the Workman's Club or something? No, no, no. That's. Yeah, Copper Jacks. Copper Face Jacks. All right, oh, okay. two, two stars. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's how you know. You know. Two Michelin stars. When a nightclub is so shite that people are reviewing it on TripAdvisor. Yeah. You gotta be really having a terrible experience to review a nightclub on TripAdvisor. Let me see if I can oh, find it. Oh, that place. Yeah, you know what now? I've walked past that a few times. That's where McCartney got dropped by a guard. All caps, avoid this place. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely awful place. I was robbed on Saturday, the 29th of July, of my purse and my phone. I had no way to contact anyone. I live in Canada, <laughs> and I had no way to contact my partner back home to cancel my cards. They basically disregarded me till I made an uproar. <laughs> and only then did they let me What's use all this about? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Racist, horrible place. <laughs> Someone, no, I know this is a rich coming from me, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a word. Someone goes assaultive and criminal. Assaultive? <laughs> Why assaultive in here? Sure, McCartney said someone walked past the girl and slapped her arse or something, and then she turned around and thought it was him and just fucking blasted him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, funny, he's like, fucking near knock me out. I'd love to see his reaction to that. Fuck, read you, sir. The fuck, yeah, got it. <laughs> no, no matters, no. <laughs> to be fair, that's, you know, if you're, that's a mad thing to bet, is walking around slapping random doll's holes. Yeah, what are you getting out of that? You should be decked for that, yeah. you know? My my fantasy for that would be, you know, you know the way I had a phase of watching bully compilations, bully knockdown videos? Oh, did you? I, I love I love that shit. Some wee mouthpiece. Yeah. Acting up and, and the fucking wee kind of nerdy kid just 
Dax has a black belt in fucking karate. There something. should be a compilation out where like some boy slaps some doll's hole and turns out she's a jujitsu black belt. She just fucking chokes him out. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. But anyway, back to the pajamas. <laughs> I. <laughs> it is hot. Like I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it's not. You know. Women in pajamas. Yes. Yeah. It is. What's your favorite type? You know, like the day of a wedding. Yeah. And they all get on them matching silk ones. Uh, Jeez, that's my version. Oh, of yeah. A, Jesus yeah, Christ. Right. Bukkake? <laughs> yeah. Nice. The coziest bukkake session of all time. Nothing like a hard nip through a silk top. Oh, stop, sir. <laughs> Actually, I'm hard. <laughs> Actually, I'm hard. Nothing like a couple of loose yams. There is blood in my loot. <laughs> <laughs> blood on the loot. <laughs> I've been trying to pull my wire. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It's been leaking since the summertime. <laughs> Blood on the loot. <laughs> Kanye fans will love that one. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's coming back. Good. With Ty Dolla Sign. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. You remember I sent you that clip of him just turn it? I was like, man, I relate a lot to Kanye. Yeah. He played about two seconds of a song and would turn it off. and was like, you fucking hear that? Like he just created, you know, like he, just like two seconds stop. Yeah. What did he say? To, what, did you hear that or something? What did he say to him? Yeah, he was like screaming, being yeah. like, "You hear that?" He basically just went, "Let go, do you?" And it, he was in his jammies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. If Kanye them. is, you know, like this big revolutionary fashion guy. Yeah. I've been doing it for years, man. Yeah. The knackered sweatshirt and the the sweats that don't fit you. Yeah. Run about the house thinking you're a genius. You hear that shit? I remember I did say on you a Kanye West lyric, being like, this really reminded me of you. Oh, really? Remember that? Blood on, on the, the Yay album? What was that? What was the lyric? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I don't take advice from people less successful than me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> what a c- <laughs> What a 37-year-old c- 37, man, how are you feeling? Uh, oh, that's, I'm over it now. No, when, no one at 37 does anything better in their life. But like, when was the last birthday where you actually felt it? You know, like when was the last birthday? You're like, oh, someone fuck. someone sent me a message at like 12:05 last night. Happy birthday! And I went, oh, I, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Uh, felt it? I don't know. Yeah, like there's there's obviously like. 27 year old you know everyone's getting the panic attacks what am i doing in my life 30 you go oh jesus that's me an adult now 35 you go oh fuck that is rank and then anything after that you're just like fucking you know fucking see you later 29 is a fucking hellscape of a year i think Sounds in my tears uh because i've got the, I've, well i've got the last lap of 20s left yeah and then i'm like oh fuck we're in the 30s then yeah do you notice like a shift once you turn once you turn 30 you're not going to notice a shift. Nah. You, you're never going to notice a shift. Oh, stop. Unless you fire sex loads in someone and get them <laughs> up the You're not going to notice a shift. You're going to be trickling along. <laughs> but the good thing about me and you is, we've, I've looked 37 for 14 years. Yeah. So it's all good, baby. Yeah. You know, I could, I, there's a potential for me to look better. Would you be crazy? The glow up. The glow up. More of the rolling glitter. <laughs> Guys, join my course. <laughs> Roll your shit body in glitter. <laughs> that is an angle you can do now. Yeah? Yeah. You just be like, you know. I've been trying to do it with like trainers and hats and stuff over the years. <sighs> but like, don't focus too much in the middle. Yeah. What about these trainers? Yeah. You know what I mean? Sneak but it Isn't up. that just fashion in general though? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because real hot people just wear white t-shirts and jeans. Yeah, I remember one time at a layover and uh i think it was denmark but i saw a guy and he was wearing like <laughs> guys, not, not the guys like flan to london not, does fucking not 10 the, layovers not the flex too hard but there was a guy at like it was a cafe inside the airport and he was sitting there and he had like these stone wash like just jeans and a white t-shirt tucked in right <laughs> and, a pair, and a pair of like really nice trainers on and i looked at him and i actually felt sad because i was like i'll never be that guy Mm-hmm. I'll never be able to tuck a white t-shirt in. Mm-hmm. You know? I took a white t-shirt and I look like a fucking butcher. <laughs> like you're selling ice cream. This guy grease. looked hot as fuck, just sitting there like pretending to do work. That's it. The the, the best uh, fashion accessory you can have is a good physique. Yeah. You know who said that? Who? Hey. Andrew Tate. 
Shout out. Nice. And he knows his stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is Tate still locking about or is he locked up? Oh, he's planning something. Locked up. He's planning something. I don't know what he's planning, but he's he'll, he'll be back. What's he planning? I don't know. He's always scheming. A hustler. Isn't he? Fucking, fucking Hustler's universal. Hustler's be scheming. Hustler's be scheming. Women are stupid. Love he'd, it. He'd hate that. Oh, yeah. Tate would, that would make him fucking. She came fight. Listen, you fat bitch. You're fat enough. <laughs> We're going for no food. Oh, I was. That? I'm going full like Vicar and Dibley. He is a wee bit like. Get off my land, you turnip. I'm Andrew Tate. I was telling you about. The- I be in my McLaren. <laughs> fucking bitches. You be getting no dinner. You fat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play chess, see if you are as stupid as you fucking look, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Nagging. Nagging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta keep them on their toes. <laughs> oh, it'd be so cool to just be an absolute waste man mess of a guy but have that sort of swagger oh yeah you know just meet someone in a Nero and be like do you pay for this get up there and pay for it yeah you're not gonna be here yeah might ride you see what happens <laughs> <laughs> i kind of respect it you know listen if i can work up a boner i'll fucking throw it into you to but leave here. your moral compass on sleep and just be like, I'm going to act like a full c- here and it will work in my favor. That's that. Anyone can do that. Yeah. I often think about that. Yeah. Just act. You know, you could just say fuck it and just act however you want it. You can. And you probably get away with it. Yeah. That's the thing about life. You know, uh, yeah. you can just be a c- You can. Just be a c- man. Yeah. There's a few floating about as well, don't you? Yeah. Oh, fucking. Fuck fuck get this fuck. Places full of snakes. Uh, we had the boys from Legion of Skanks. Oh, and Lavery's and Sunday. In on Sunday. That was an experience. Uh, we had Luis J. Gomez, Dave Smith, Zach Amico, Robbie Burns. Sting. Uh-huh. Is that right? Uh, then boys come in. Now, interestingly, very different crowd than we'd normally have in Lavery's. Describe them. Cretans. <laughs> <laughs> no. Legion of Cretans. <laughs> No, it was, it was, you know, as you would expect, like, you know, fucking just those hardcore podcast weed smoking, you know, Jesus fucking, Christ, Dave. you know, he had the blunt too hard, queuing on dudes, you know, yeah, a lot of them by themselves, but the place raked the weed, man. Yeah. I was leaving after the gig and a guy just walked up the back steps inside with a fully lit joint and was like, here, that's for, you. that's for, for Luis J. Gomez. And, Mate, I, Mate and I was, I was just like, it's not my jurisdiction, bro. Yeah. Someone will spear tackle you down the toilets or, or what? Down the stairs in like two minutes. But also it's like he's worth a fortune. Like why would he want like a fucking first of all bad weed and well, then well, a did, joint he, with your soaky lips in it? But he he did advertise it. He was like, Is weed legal in Belfast? Can you bring me weed? Oh, I suppose to be fair, he'd have to you don't, you don't source have, it. You, you don't have the plug when you're in Belfast. Like. No. But then you know, all these hardcore weed smokers, they'll have good weed, like Aye. they'll have a bit of space weed. Yeah. Although these boys, I was trying to be Mr. Host, you know, so I was like, can I get you guys anything? Do you want, do you want me to get you a couple of menus if you want to order food? Blah, blah, blah. And they were like, I was like, help yourself to the fridge. And they were like, uh, can we get some bourbon? And, and I was like, sweet. And then he was like, you know, you know, something, something a bit nice, like fucking, was it Maker's Mark or whatever or something? He mentioned something else or like Bullet or something. And I was like, I was nodding the whole time going, yeah, none of that's here. But uh, I'll go down and have a look anyway. Yeah. I don't know if this is a high-end bourbon type of place. Yeah. So I go downstairs, and the only thing I could find was Gentleman Jack. There was, like, Jack Daniels and a load of other shit, but it was, like, Gentleman Jack looks like the, the most expensive one here. Yeah. And the, the barber, like, just take it up the back there, and I took it up to them. And uh, I was like, sorry, boys, overestimated the choice options here. We, this is the best we have. And I was, and they were... They were like looking at it going, yeah, we can make this work. And I was like, Legion of Skanks, my arse. <laughs> Legion of fucking snobs. Yeah. <laughs> you bougie bitches. You bo- it, we'll make it work. A fucking 60 pound bottle of fucking whiskey. It's all, yeah, it's not something you make work. Make it work? Yeah. <laughs> Pour in your fucking face. A Tesco bottle of vodka, you make that work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a bottle of Grants. A and four litre Frosty Jacks, yeah. you make it work. Yeah, Buy like, Ribena. A bottle of Grants and like two melted ice pops, you make it work. Yeah. <laughs> These boys are like, we'll make it work. And I was like, good luck. <laughs> Legion of fucking pains in my hole. Yeah. Man, you're 37, you don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Come on, Eminem, you stood it like that. 
Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? But it was a good night of entertainment. No, they were fantastic, yeah. to be fair. Enjoyed uh, by all. They were great. Um... All good, all, all great. Uh, Luis J. Gomez was openly going like, I just have new stuff right now, so I'll be going through that. But he was fucking hype on stage, man. He was fucking... He's a gentleman. He lovely guy. He's a nice lo- guy. Lo- lovely guy. Uh, and then I didn't really even say that I was a comedian. I, I was just like, we run the club. And then at the end, he was like, you're a comic? And I was like, fuck, bitch, get on that Insta. Take a look. <laughs> Shop around, lad. <like. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Fill your mates, lad. Fill your boots. Yeah, but, I, I met him at Skankfest and he was a sweetheart. Dave Smith. You know, he was probably doing his more polished shit. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, you know, great times. But a very, just that, that sort of crowd that they attract. You know, fucking no, it's not. They were all going nuts. Did they have any mad chants going on? Uh, there was a couple of inside jokes, you yeah. know, about something. Um, and then Lewis J. Gomez mentioned to someone in the front row about them going out with this couple and then something about the girl's ex. And the girl was like, oh yeah, I killed himself. Oh, and I was like, "Is she doing a bit? Make that work." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that gentleman Jack seems no bother either. Now you're trying to get a few zingers off on a fucking dead guy. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I er- stand in the back of the room like, "Is that a, is that a plant? Like, when has that ever happened?" Jesus, yeah, everyone's been there before, though. You know, you go into cry work at some stage, you're gonna get handed a little big old steaming by the shit. I know. Hey, but do you know what? Fuck it. If they brought it up. If they brought it up in the crowd, I agree. Get get tucked into them. I agree. <laughs> get get fucking laid in them. Uh, but there was a lot of like you know the foods bullshit here, and your women are ugly and all that bullshit. And I was like, well, being at a Legion of Skanks gig in Lavery's not a great cross section of the community <laughs> for hot people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dare I say monters? Yeah. You know, a lot of fucking fellas. Yeah, that's like saying your monters are more monte. You know? <laughs> your months be monthly the full monthly <laughs> <laughs> yeah normally at our legion of skanks gigs full of hotties but this particular one in belfast yeah full of absolute incels and lavery's hey listen i had you know last night no different story yeah sideways pocket boner all night i'd be in the back of lavery's you know i'd be looking at the crowd sometimes coming in you know and i'm like oh my god this is a beautiful collection of people yeah you know yeah these are young hot people and then it kind of, it like almost like, it like makes you feel like a fucking complete clown when you're doing like stand up for the hotties. That's my midlife crisis. Doing stand up for the hotties? I'm, I'm 37, I'm old and better now. Uh-huh. And I go, I fucking shoot me going out here and dancing for these fucking dickheads. Yeah. You know, that's where, that's, that's the midlife crisis I'm having. But you do see so, some hotties in the front row. Do you, ever, you do. do you ever not really take them all in at once and you go, oh, what do you do? What do you do? Fucking blah, blah, blah. And then you, you haven't really looked over here yet. And then you turn around and you're like, and, who, and what do you... Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God, damn it. <laughs> A girl the other week, I was like, what's your name? She's like, Emily. And I was like, I lost twice. Lost twice in my pants. 37. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? Emily. And I'm, I'm like, fucking... <laughs> Must be nice. Must be nice. It would be so funny <laughs> if you were doing crowd work and you literally bust on stage like you premature ejaculated <laughs> from someone's knee. That's a clip right there. If we can make that happen somehow. <laughs> you should try it. Like work up half a job and then go out there and, you know, bust to someone's name. That's so funny. <laughs> it wasn't just her name. It was you know, the hardness of the way she said it. Yeah. And then there was there, that was the night where there was like three Emilys in the front row. Yeah, you know. I think we should do. By that. the time I got the third one, just like Emily, and I was like, I fucking whatever, whatever. <laughs> but the the, be- the 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 fucking the best night of all time was the the tour gig I did in Bally Castle, where I walked out <laughs> like <laughs> McCartney comes on, he goes, just wait a bunch of rides in that front row, and I went out and I was like, what is happening here? Yeah. I was making jokes and I was like, what is this an OnlyFans Christmas Day? I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Every, every, whatever you're into, it was on the buffet, like. Yeah. Well, blonde big tits, no sweat, two of them. <laughs> you want more edgy, sort of, you know, you know, brunette with tattoo, fucking fill your boots. You know, this kind of mixed race car, who knows where she's from, you know, vaguely brown. Yeah. <laughs> Get tucked in, you want a trans one? You want a hot one with dick? Right there. Whatever you wanted, and then just a fella. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. Is your name Graham? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just Graham, fucking thumb and a 
thumb on a veiny one? He was with the hotties? I don't know what the fuck he was doing. It was grim behavior. It was just fucking hot checks in a row. Like 12 of them on one side of the, the room. 10 out of 10. Yeah, Tim always says that. It makes me want to reach him by the throat. He goes, oh, there's like good looking people go to comedy gigs. I'm like, you fucking rich tea biscuit fucking piece of what shit. Was, what was he thinking? That they're all stinkers? Or that they're all in the gym doing fucking press-ups with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, bro. He must lead girls look like fellas. How people need to laugh too, you know? How, how close is that guy to banging a dude? He'd be like, I'm my ideal girl, man. Just fuck it, you know, like arms apple, thick neck, <laughs> just sort of pecs, you know, muscular thighs, big feet, and all that fucking does it for me, man. That's all I like. <laughs> <laughs> big feet, hey, fuck up, be a while. Yeah. Imagine you met the woman in your dreams and she just had big old boats in her. That's a tough sell. <laughs> Mom, I'd like you to meet Vanessa. She just fucking clamps on. <laughs> but it's usually in proportion. Like, she's not going to be like five foot four. No, but uh, like a size 11. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what if she's like, yeah, my feet are like a size fucking 10 or something. Yeah, but, but if she's like, was, you know, six one swimmer. Yeah, but if there was like some sort of like medical accident where like this, we just don't had big, massive fucking. You know what I mean? I know, but. Uh, you start an OnlyFans, you'd be a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Are you going to go bowling with the bitch, though? <laughs> no, no. BYO on the shoes. <laughs> BYO on the bowling shoes. Why do they give you the fucking... It's actually insane in this Why day do they give you the clown shoe? And they think all it's going to take the athlete's foot out of it is they get a bit of Febreze and go... <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I'm putting my foot into just decades of fucking Ming. They need to update the shoes. Like, Kanye West should take the bowling shoe and make it cool. And then bowling, you know, places around the world take them on. Yeah. they are naff, like. Yeah, you don't want to be, like, taking off your swaggy shoe and then putting on this fucking clown shoe. It's stinking, too. Stinking. Absolutely stinking. Bowling is stinking. But maybe it's the great equaliser. You gotta finger that hole that just fucking... How many just fucking cheese and onion crisps and pisses oh. that they take in there just jamming their fingers in there and then you fucking... Just in there in the back of it. You gonna be sick? No, I just hit <laughs> bowling. <laughs> it is shit. I don't like cheese and onion. It, it, <laughs> It is shit. Like, uh, I don't like any sort of like. I have to plan a stag do at the minute, right? Uh, and I don't like any daytime activities at all. That's the worst part of it for me. Like, if it was my ideal stag, we would just get mindlessly drunk for forty eight hours. Yeah, that's a good time to me. Yeah, right. With my closest and nearest, I don't want to go paintball with anybody. <laughs> yeah, can you not just be like? Are none of you good crack? Like, can we not just drink in the flat till we go? Exactly. You know? That's my idea. Daytime activities. Do you know what's a, gr- you know what's a great time? Do you know when you do, like, pre-drinking somewhere of any sort? Mm-hmm. And it's so it's great crack. Yeah. And people are like, oh, shit, we got we to gotta go now. We got to get attacked. You know that feeling mm-hmm. of, like, oh, man, so much crack right here. Have you ever turned around and said, cancel that taxi? Yeah. This is where the vibes are? Several times. Yeah. yeah. Not in years, like, but yeah, there. I've been in scenarios where I've just been like, "Are we? This is good crack." Yeah, because what you're doing is then you're taking that group of people who are having a nice time, and you're throwing them into the wilderness. Yeah. Of a nightclub of all these different fuck. You know what kind of lunatics are in there? We'll never speak again. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna be bouncing off the walls in this place. Yeah. Pretty green eyes. Have you ever known anyone to do like uh, I know Americans call it an Irish goodbye, which I've never understood that. Oh yeah. I I used to do that. It should be called a, like an, an Irish goodbye as you say goodbye to fucking everybody at the event and you might yeah. as well stay to the end anyway. Yeah. And schedule when you're next going to see them. Yeah. Come here. I must Terry, Mo- Terry Muller was asking for it. Yeah. Well, uh, I must head on here but you're here. Uh, give me a shout tomorrow we'll organise something anyway. Uh, I haven't seen your ones in forever. Oh. Is Trevor still with you? I know. We shouldn't wait the t- for, a, for a funeral to be meeting up. That's... <laughs> I heard that one. <laughs> Jesus, if I had the bingo card from my old boy's wake, I uh, heard that about 20 times. Jesus, we should all get together with Daniel Dahl more often. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way it takes a day to get us all together like us. I <laughs> <laughs> sure here, let's go fucking bowling then. Uh, you fucking... Put your money where your mouth is. Uh, you faker. We're going for triangle sandwiches <laughs> next Wednesday. You better fucking be there. Since you love meeting up so much. Hey, right, sir, by the way, see when I die, I'd fucking, I don't give a fuck what you do at the funeral. At my wake, get out of subways. I'm fucking sick of the... Giving out subways? Get the subways out, get the deli melts. Stramages, do my wake. <laughs> That'd be fucking unreal. That sounds so good, I might kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Death so good, I forgot he was dead. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to say a few words, Colin? I'm like, Arr! But what? About Aaron. 
Huh? Uh, the Poe Boy is. Hey, I've got the cold cuts here. That's what they call me. The Poe Boy. <laughs> <laughs> the telly told me uh, uh, fuck it yeah I, I want a really inconvenient meal at mine yeah everyone that gets an Indian you have to eat with your hands <laughs> worst first date ever but, by, but like while I'm in the room in the box yeah <laughs> like it's before they put me in the ground I don't want put in the ground anyway yeah I want kicked into a wood chipper I, think, I don't know I was thinking about getting old there the other day you know and I think see when you hit 70 you know like I had a, I've had people come in before to like the vape shop and they're not going to get on you know the fucking vapes because they've been smoking fags yeah. for 40 years but they're in their 70s and I'm like why are you trying to why are you trying to keep this going you know exactly these are the shite years ride it into the dirt yeah yeah I think so like if you've been smoking fags for 40 years just fucking let the wheels it's, fall it, It's like that old Billy Connolly joke where he's talk, where they went through that phase where it's like, you, you should eat brown bread instead of white bread because mm-hmm. it extends your life. And I goes, I but it extends it at the end. You, you know should what I mean? Be, in your final years, you should be so reckless and fucking just doing everything you've ever wanted to do that it gets to your wake and they go, fucking close that. Because that boy's a mess. If I ever have grandkids, I want there to be a day where you know, like Eddie has kids and he comes to my house and he opens the door and he sees what I'm up to and he shuts the door and he's like, we'll come back tomorrow. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm fucking needle hanging out my arm. Yeah. You know, it's full of fucking hookers. Granddad's on the smack again. <laughs> Colin's yeah. on the smack. But he is looking well. He has dropped a few, to be fair, a couple of LBs. <laughs> you can see his throat again. <laughs> That's good, he got it the throat back in the final years. He finally got into them jeans at 79. Yeah. <laughs> Apple bottom jeans. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> What's your, like, uh, you know the way Nolan lost all the weight and he got into the white jeans? He's like, I've just always wanted to go shopping. What's What's your, like, what would be the thing you would wear if you lost a load of weight and looked great? I mean, right now, just the polo shirt. Yeah? Yeah. Just that's it? <laughs> yeah, I'm a fuck. i love when you just go full like it's full conviction you know like so you said in the car one day we were talking about some bit and you just went fuck i wish i was black hey (laughs) so sincere i'm a fuck sir it's true though like and you don't really realize it until like i was doing that thing with my visa the other day right where i had to go back to my first ever gig yeah and fucking take every picture every poster or whatever so that the u.s embassy goes oh you know it looks like he's doing enough and i went back to the first gig i ever did that was 2012 and nine stone ago <laughs> sir i actually used to look like I was actually a bit of a piece back in the day, mm. you know? And then I went to uni and just four years of black and out. And then I was like, I don't want to stop doing that now. Yeah. You know? But I think... Make a mood board or a dream board. That was just photos of you from like a few a few years ago. Yeah. You saw. You said you saw a picture of me one time wearing a polo shirt, you know? Yeah, there's, there's a couple of photos of you where you're like, that guy looks like an athletic guy. Yeah. Even that word being attached to me is just funny to me. Athletic. Um, yeah. It's crazy. If darts is a, a real <laughs> sport, yeah. yeah. Well, he's got that Taylor build. Someone um, was talking last night about doing comedians darts. I see. That's. I was just like, what do we got? When when is this end? Comedians ice hockey. No, but that's more appealing to me than uh, boxing. Yeah. If we all just had a wee darts match, this is easier than being punched in the face yeah. repeatedly. I don't want to get hooked in the fucking face. What's the stupidest Com- comedians golf would be good? Comedians ping pong. I don't like golf, but it'd be funny to get road off and just try and play golf. I think I'll get in the golf when I'm older. Yeah? Yeah, I think, like, because it is, like, it's crack for the old boys, isn't it? Yeah. You get away from the old ball and chain, hit a few holes, slag each other. Yeah. Fucking... Throw a bit then, of money on the floor. Aye. Take out for last week, you bastard. Nah, I just... I had Something about old boys and just their crack and banter, I, I can't wait to get to that age. Dave made a good point last night. He goes, I'm too young to drink in bars and clubs and t- not old enough. Too old to drink in bars and clubs, not old enough to drink in a golf club. Yeah. Yeah. Class. Do you remember during the pandemic we met up in the golf club? Yeah. And just walked around the course like two lunatics? Oh, I miss it so much. Fucked in a bunker? That was my <laughs> that was my uh, pandemic plan was I would just get up every day and just walk around the empty golf course. That was so soothing. That was great. Soothing? Yeah. Soothing. Soothing boy. Soothing. Uh, yeah, it was lovely. <laughs> Yeah, there were, people were doing weird shit during the pandemic, like uh, things like that. Like I drove the Oma and we just walked around. Oh yeah, I read like two books. Crazy. Yeah, and then you just have to go like, see ya, 
Because I can't go for a coffee or I can't do anything. It's just like, go, go, just see you, man. Yeah. Had a nice walk. I liked how, like, at the start of the pandemic, everyone was like, guys, you should be using this time efficiently. And I look back on it and I achieved nothing. <laughs> like, literally nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I played Xbox. <laughs> Call this episode nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I played Xbox. I mean, every Saturday night, me and mum would order uh, pizza. I would drink gin until <laughs> one night I actually fell in the bath. I didn't learn. I actually downloaded an uh, app to learn Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> didn't learn a lick of it. Oh. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure I watched tutorials on some other bullshit, you know. Read two books. That was crazy. <laughs> wild times. It was wild times, you know. Had I known the, the exact length of the pandemic, I'd have done fuck all. You know, but it was always looming that it might come back. And that was fucking keeping me on edge. But had they just went, this is the date, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. I'd have been like, laptop in the sea, fucking see you later. They should have done that because it felt like whenever they announced that things were back, well, it wasn't, it was very gradual. But if they had a date where they're like, right, guys, we're going back fully to live in here, it would have been such a party. What a waste. What a waste, man. Uh, before we sign off, I'm going to type into this Japanese translator and a wee sign off. Okay. Since, Are we nearly out an hour already? Since you're a big Japanese guy. Oh, fucking hell. I flew him. Uh, let me see. And you can read this out. <laughs> <laughs> can we write his name in that microphone, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, fuck, apologies in advance, by the way. <laughs> but is she murky? That's a slow cooker one. <laughs> murky! It looked like you put it in your bum. It looked like? It looked like? It smelled like? <laughs> I'd have said that into the bomb squad thing. That's 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 a sentence there. It's a mouthful. You might need a couple of rehearsals at that. Is this in uh, the Instagram? No, it's uh, your phone. What's up? Watisha Neoma Aramakan Gidisuch. Yeah. Now play the actual one. I can't play it. I just translated it. All right. I thought it was a Google Translate where you can play it. My name is Aaron McCann and I am gay. I thought that was your surname. Get this, uh, it's trivial, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> your surname is your name gay in Japanese. <laughs> I turn up in Japan and introduce myself in the middle. That was a great Japanese man laughing present there. <laughs> oh, oh, hell. You know. <clears throat> and then just get bukkake by the fellas. Hi. If she's not Jap, she's scrap. <laughs> That's right. Smoke weed every day. Right, we're going to get out of here. Cheers for less. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us. Get yourself on to patreon.com slash the bomb squad pod for more episodes yes. like this. Slide on over. Slide. If you like this, you'll love this. <laughs> if you like, <laughs> hey, if you like stuff, you'll love stuff. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Oh, fucking retarded. Oh, God. Smoke weed pretty regularly. Oh.